Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says from the prices of shares X and Y below, find out which is more stable in value. So in the table given below, in the first row we have the prices of share X. In the second row we have prices of shares Y. So let us start with the solution to this question. Now for determining which share is more stable in value, we have to find both their variance. From the variance, whichever is lesser value of variance is said to be more stable. So let us see how to find out the variance. Step 1 is calculate the mean of a data denoted by x bar. That is x bar is equal to 1 divided by n into submission xi where i goes from 1 to n where n is the number of observations. Now step 2 is we find x1 minus x bar, x2 minus x bar, x3 minus x bar and so on till xn minus x bar. Step 3 is to find x1 minus x bar the whole square, x2 minus x bar the whole square and so on till xn minus x bar the whole square. Step 4 is we find their sum that is we find submission xi minus x bar the whole square i goes from 1 to n. Then step 5 is to find out the variance that is sigma square equal to submission i goes from 1 to n of xi minus x bar the whole square divided by n. So now like this we make a table. This is for shares x and this is for shares y. The first column is they are the xi's given to us in the question. They are the yi's given to us in the question. We have to find out xi minus mod x or x bar and similarly we find yi minus y bar then we find xi minus x bar the whole square and here also we find out yi minus y bar the whole square. So let us find out x bar. We know that x bar that is the mean of the data is equal to 1 by n into submission xi where i goes from 1 to n. This is the standard formula for the mean. So let us sum up all these x size and similarly we see that mean of y will be equal to 1 by n submission yi where i goes from 1 to n. Here also we sum up all the yi's. So we see that submission of x size is 510 and submission of yi's is 1050. Now we have to find out x i minus mean of x. Now we see that we have to find of mean of x that will be equal to 510 divided by now number of observations that is n is equal to 10. So mean of x is equal to 51. Similarly here we see that we get 1050 divided by 10 and that is equal to 1005. This is 105. So mean of x is 51 and mean of y is 105. So now we see that here we will have minus 16, 3, 1, 2, 5, 7, 1, minus 1, 0, minus 2. And similarly here we will have 3, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 4. Now we find out their squares. Here we will have square of 16, square of minus 16 is 256, square of 3 is 9, square of 1 is 1, here we have 4, 25, 49, 1, 1, 0, 4. Similarly, here we will have 3, the square of 3 is 9, square of 2 is 4, then 0, 0, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 16. Now we have to sum up xi minus x bar the whole square and yi minus y bar the whole square. So we have summed them up. We see that this sums up to 350 and this sums up to 40. Now we see that after finding their sums that is this 
we find out the variance that is this. So we see that for shares x, variance sigma square is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n, xi minus x bar the whole square divided by n. We simply put in the values here and we get 350 divided by 10 that is equal to 35. So variance for shares x is 35. Similarly, for shares y, variance that is sigma square is equal to submission yi minus y bar. The whole square i goes from 1 to n divided by n. That is equal to 40 divided by 10. And that is equal to 4. Now, we see that to compare the variability, we have to calculate their coefficients of variation. Now, coefficient of variation for x is Sigma for x divided by x bar multiplied by 100. We see that sigma for x is, we see that sigma square is equal to 35. So this implies that sigma is equal to square root of 35. So here we have square root of 35 divided by mean of x that was 51. Multiplied by 100. Now this is equal to 5.9 multiplied by 100 divided by 51 which is same as 590 divided by 51 and that is equal to 11.6. So coefficient of variation for x is 11.6. Now we find out coefficient of variation for shares y, that is again sigma for y divided by mean of y, that is y bar multiply by 100. Now we see that sigma y will be, since sigma square equals to 4, so sigma will be 2. So here we have 2 divided by, now mean for y is 105. So this multiplied by 100. That is 200 by 105. This is 2 by 105 into 100. Because sigma y is 2. Mean of yi is 105 multiplied by 100. So we have 200 divided by 105. That is approximately equal to 1.9. We see that coefficient of variation in shares y is less than the coefficient of variation in shares x. Therefore, share y is more stable then the share x. So our answer to this question is y. So I hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.